You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. Welcome to Spiritual Awakenings with your host, Marsha Hebrink. Listen now as Marsha explores the mystery of angels. Who are angels? How can they help us? And how can we connect with these wonderful beings of light to enlighten and enrich our lives? So now, please welcome the host of Spiritual Awakenings, Marsha Hebrink. Welcome, everybody. I'm Marcia Hebrink, and you are listening to Spiritual Awakenings. And we're coming to you live on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. And today we're talking about angels and stones and crystals and spiritual healing, my favorite topic um, in the world, actually. I, I have other things I love, but this is at the top of my list. And I hope it's at the top of your list, too. Um, Angel people are the greatest people ever. Um, I find this when I teach angelic trainings. The uh, folks who show up for the classes are just so dear, so kind, and so gentle. And I do want to say, if you're interested in learning more about the angels, um, I teach with my husband, and we have a great class coming up in March. It's March 2021 and 22. It's in Durham, North Carolina. It's a three-day angelic intensive. It's nothing but angels for three days. It's called Angel Intuition and Healing Certification Training. And if you go to my website, onelightcenter.com, it's O-N-E-L-I-G-H-T-C-E-N-T-E-R.com, You'll find all kinds of information there about it. But I'm very excited because I just keep meeting more wonderful angelic people uh, when they call me to sign up for the class. And I'm so psyched about uh, this group that's uh, kind of coming together to spend those three days with the angels. And uh, it's, it's exciting. So I wanted today to talk about a subject that Um, I've been noticing in my clients in my private practice, as well as it's really a topic that the angels have been kind of sharing with me about and kind of preparing me to share with you about. And it seems to be a part of what's happening now, I think, in terms of the the constellation of uh, the planets right now. We are in a Mercury retrograde, if you didn't know that. Um, It just happened recently. Uh, It'll be with us for a while. Hang on to your seatbelt. Not a good time to sign uh, legal contracts and things like that. Uh, Make Not a good time to make big changes. Uh, But anyway, what I have been noticing people dealing with lately is a resistance to change. A resistance to change. Now, I am finding that there are a lot of my clients who've been coming in who are really struggling with uh, relationship issues where, you know, things have kind of continued to be uh, a certain way. It's not working for them. Uh, They've tried all kinds of different interventions and, you know, things are not getting any better. Some of them are leaving their relationships. Uh, Same thing happening with people with their jobs. A lot of people that I've worked with lately are dissatisfied with their employment or their employer, their coworkers, their boss. Um, And so there's this kind of angsting that seems to be going on with a lot of people that I come in contact with, actually not just in terms of my own clients, and I have lots of those, but also in terms of 
you know, friends and acquaintances. It seems to be kind of a theme that we're dealing with right now. And um, we are, of course, in this uh, state of uh, moving towards this ascension. And a lot of people are dealing with ascension symptoms right now as well. But um, resistance to change is something that the angels would like to help us with. And I kind of pulled in today a book that I really, really love. Now, this is an older book. If you don't have it or if you haven't read it, even though it's an older book, I highly recommend it to you. And this book is called You Can Heal Your Life. You Can Heal Your Life. And it was written by a lady named Louise Hay, H-A-Y, and she was the founder of Hay House. And Hay House has a lot of really great uh, books and CDs, you know, CD is kind of an old term, isn't it? (laughs) Mobile downloads, whatever they are now. Uh, But, you know, all kinds of of wonderful, you know, online trainings and things like that, that you can get through there. But she really is someone who, and unfortunately, she passed away a couple years ago, but she in her older years, um, really, I mean, she went through a lot. And I believe she was maybe in her like 50s or something like that. And she decided she was going to really make some changes in her own life. And she began to study metaphysics. And she began to write about it. And what she discovered in her work with people was that people would come in to see her in her healing practice, and they would have these specific types of illnesses, these issues going on in their body. And she began to keep track of this because what she discovered was that people with particular physical illnesses would also have particular life issues that they were dealing with as well. And just to give you an idea, I mean, there's her her book that I just mentioned has, you know, just a list a mile long of all these different types of problems people can have and what the underlying issue is beneath that. So just looking up in the little index in the back of the book, people who have foot problems have a fear of the future and of not stepping forward in their life. And so then she has a um, positive affirmation that she creates to help deal with that issue. So the positive affirmation for foot problems is, I move forward in life with joy and ease. Isn't that beautiful? So all the affirmations are very positive. There's no negative words in the affirmation, which is quite important. And uh, here's another one. Gosh, just to just pull one out of the book here. Um, People who have respiratory ailments, coughs, uh, they have a desire to bark at the world, see me, listen to me. So there's something they need to say. And the positive affirmation for that is for people with respiratory ailments, I am noticed and appreciated in the most positive ways. I am loved. So she really became kind of a specialist in this particular aspect of work. But what really was underlying some of it for Louise Hay was a deep awareness that what we think about becomes our truth. Okay, what we think about ourselves and what we say about ourselves becomes our truth. It becomes our life. We walk that truth. Other people see us walking that truth and we create more of what we believe the truth to be. And what Louise Hay said was, you know, a lot of the time what we think is truth is not really truth. What we think is truth is really what we were told when we were children what we were told when we were young adults about ourselves. And she says, you know, a lot of our pain that we experience uh, in our lifetimes, uh, and, and she's not just talking about, you know, physical pain, she's talking about mental, emotional, and spiritual pain. A lot of that pain is based in misconceptions, okay, misthinking. So when we come back, I want to tell you a little bit more about this. I hope you're interested in this. It's one of the things I get pretty passionate about. 
And then I have some stones and crystals here, and I, of course, have an angel for us for the week. So I'm Marcia Hebrink. This is Spiritual Awakenings, coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And we'll be right back. Hello, I'm Steve Fagan, and I'm president and CEO of Fagan Associates, but I'm also a life coach. I'm here to help you reach your dreams, goals, and objectives. As a life coach, it's my job to be your support, to be your teammate, to help you understand what is your dream, what is your life passion, and then together we work as that team to help you reach your specific goals. Life is worth living the best you can be. Working with a life coach, you're fulfilling those dreams and goals is your passion, and it's your way of living. Let me help you do that today. Let me help you really reach the best that you can be as a person and live the life you should be living. I'm Steve Fagan. I'm a life coach, and I'm here for you. Contact Steve Fagan at FaganAndAssociatesInc.com or call 1-800-239-2701. And I'll be glad to help you move forward to live the life of success. Reach your dreams, your goals, your objectives. We can do it together. Intergenerational programming is uniting America due to the tireless efforts of Dr. Ramona Frischman. Retired from the Miami-Dade County Public School System, Dr. Frischman continues to develop intergenerational learning programs aimed to improve the lives of children, young adults, and seniors through unique strategies and public policy in order to establish a mutually supportive agenda. She views intergenerational programs as a resource for policymakers and the general public on economic, social, and personal initiatives that govern our society. Her work bridges the generational gap, providing many individuals the opportunity to explore areas of common ground and celebrate each other's diversity. Contact Ramona Frischman at RamonaLong at AOL.com or visit www.gu.org to learn more about intergenerational programming. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Marcia Hebrink, and this is Spiritual Awakenings. We're coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. And today we're talking about angels and crystals and stones and spiritual healing and the power of positive thinking. Oh, yeah. So I wanted to share with you an affirmation. And this is from Louise Hayes' book that I just mentioned before, You Can Heal Your Life. And here it goes, right out of the book. In the infinity of life where I am, all is perfect, whole, and complete, and yet life is ever-changing. There is no beginning and no end, only a constant cycling and recycling of substance and experiences. Life is never stuck or static or stale, for each moment is ever new and fresh. I am one with the very power that created me, and this power has given me the power to create my own circumstances. I rejoice in the knowledge that I have the power of my own mind to use in any way that I choose. Every moment of life is a new beginning point as we move from the old. This moment is a new point of beginning for me right here And right now, all is well in my world. Isn't that beautiful? So that's that's from Louise Hay. I just thought there's a lot of wisdom in that. You know, we do sometimes find that certain experiences kind of get cycled and recycled, don't they? And uh, we we have to kind of deal with our stuff again. It's like, oh, we think we've we've dealt with that, you know, we've finished up with it, and then. You know, a little theme comes back around for us to deal with. Well, so in terms of the angelic realm, who do you think might be a really good helper with this issue? Hmm, I'll tell you who I like. I like working with Archangel Raphael on this. Archangel Raphael is the healer. 
Uh, his name means healer of God. And Archangel Raphael is the angel that people see as being this beautiful, earthy color of green. And we think of Raphael often as an angel who is a healer of the body. And he is a fine healer of the body. And I want to encourage all of you, if you have any physical issues going on, to call him in and ask him for help with this. However, what Archangel Raphael tells me, and I do hear angels and I see them, and a lot of you listening in probably do too, Raphael tells me that he's here to help us with our emotional healing, with our mental healing, with changing our thoughts, with dealing with whatever emotions are coming up for us in a positive way so that we don't have to get bogged down by them, so we don't have to be limited by them. And, you know, one of the things the angels have told me, and I thought this was kind of interesting, is that they really love kind of watching us here, uh, us humans on, on the physical plane here on the earth, because we have this incredible gift of emotions. We have this gift of feelings. And angels, you know, they're completely benevolent, okay? They don't have the same range of feelings like we have. We have anger, we have disappointment, we have fear, we have sadness, we have grief, and we have love, we have joy. So all that whole range of feelings, when the angels look down on us, what they tell me is that they are amazed at how well most of us cope with all the feelings that we're dealing with on a day-to-day basis. It's really a lot for us. And, you know, here right now, those of you who are in the U.S., Canada, and Europe, you know, things are going on everywhere in our governments, uh, really in our weather. Oh, my golly. You know, there are so many changes in the earth. There's a lot for us to be concerned about, a lot for us to be golly, you know, fearful about sometimes, you know, we try and trust that things will work out. We try to do the best that we can to make the best of the situation that we have on our hands here on a day to day basis. But, you know, we'd be there'd be something wrong with us if we weren't concerned, right, given where the world is right now today. But the angels want to really help us with this. And they want us to know we're never alone. We're never alone in dealing with the world being the way that it is, in dealing with our relationships, our workplace challenges, our environmental challenges. We are never, ever alone. And calling upon them helps. It absolutely does. Now, they may not be able to solve all the challenges of the world, but there's a whole lot that they can do. And I'm here to tell you, I have seen them work miracles in my life and in other people's lives. And so I want to just help you today to just have some faith in them and some faith in yourself to know if things feel overwhelming right now, and a lot of people are feeling this, and gosh, I'm sorry, it's hard. But know that you have around you an incredible team of light, an incredible team of love, and they are standing by ready every single day to help you. And all you have to do is call upon them. And in fact, sometimes you don't have to call upon them. The angels are with you uh, to help lighten your load, to help you cope with things. Your guardian angels especially, uh, they are so benevolent, so kind. And they are here to look after us and to help us manage things in our life. Um, And really to help us have that support and kind of coach us through what's going on. So um, number one today, gosh, I just really want to encourage you to work with your guardian angels too. Uh, We all have them. And uh, know that they can help you uh, with this topic I have today on the show of having the courage to change having the courage to deal with what's going on in your world and changing your thoughts, changing your outlook on things, changing the way you feel even. Now, that's radical, isn't it? Uh, 
someone once said to me, oh, you know, you don't have to hold on to all these feelings that you have because I'm here to tell you I'm a big feeler, okay? I feel a lot. I know a lot of you do too, your empaths. Uh, But you can change your feelings. Uh, You can shift them with the help of the angels and with the help of your amazing mind that you have. So we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, I'm going to pull a card from the angels to help us with this topic. You're listening to Spiritual Awakenings, and we're coming to you live from the BBM Global Network. And tune in radio, and we will be right back. Have you ever wondered why some children recover from their symptoms of autism while others never seem to get any better? After 13 years of research, Karen Thomas has recovered her own son from his symptoms of autism naturally. She now shares how she did it with you in her free webinar so that you can have the right resources and knowledge to help your child. The definition of recovery is to regain health. Karen offers this to you in four stages. Healing the gut, natural heavy metal detoxification, balancing the co-infections of autism, brain support, and repair. Register now for this free webinar to help you know what you can do to help your child to sleep better, be more calm, improve focus, and reach their fullest potential to live a happy, healthy life. Go to naturallyrecoveringautism.com forward slash free workshop empowering parents with the resources to naturally recover autism from a mom who's done it did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality but it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating belief shifter and life coach shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them often in a single session like it was almost instant like I had relief right away. Creating better health, relationships, careers, and finances. Let Shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness. Definitely something's happening. Uh, it's like a, a flow inside. You know, it feels good. Whether in person or online, Shiraz provides personal coaching, belief shifting. Visit Shiraz at energeticmagic.com or call 416-529-7429. Energetic Magic. On the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Be well. Be aware. Be magical. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Marcia Hebrang, and you're listening to Spiritual Awakenings. And we're coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. And today we're talking about angels crystals and stones and spiritual healing and our topic is having the courage to change we don't have to stay stuck we don't have to keep repeating the same patterns anymore it is time for us to let the past go and step into a brighter future this is one of the messages the angels have been hammering away (laughs) i had uh with my clients lately and uh, it's beautiful. It's a, a pretty strong message. Sometimes changing is hard. Sometimes we get a little comfortable in our rut. Sometimes we get a little comfortable with uh, what's not working for us, with, um, you know, I don't know, just kind of, you know, doing things the same way from day to day. And the angels say, nah, you can change it. You can do better. And uh, and there's no judgment in it. The angels don't have any judgment of us at all. They have nothing but love. And they understand how hard it is for us here on the earth plane. Uh, especially the ones who are in physical incarnations like Sandalphon and Metatron. But they really all do. They all understand. So back to our angel of the week here. And I know I've talked about him before. He's one of my favorites. I'm just going to tell you a little bit about him. And then I'm going to pull a card for you guys from an angel deck that I have. So Archangel Raphael, healer of God or God heals, is a very special angel who helps us to heal our mind, body, and our spirit. And he is said to carry a caduceus. Now, a caduceus is something that you might see when you go to the doctor. And it is a winged staff with two snakes around it. It's a symbol of the medical profession. So often when people see Raphael, they'll see him carrying that caduceus. And I see Raphael 
uh, with dark hair and this beautiful green all around him and this gorgeous kind of wavy dark hair. Um, Pretty, you know, muscular guy, not as tall as Archangel Michael. Very, very lovely, very handsome. Uh, I don't see Raphael as female. I don't know about you. Some people might, uh, but he tends to come through in my healing room as a male. Um, Raphael's whole job is to help us heal. One of the things he likes to do is help us to have a healthier lifestyle. And so he often will work with me with clients about, you know, what are they eating? How much are they sleeping? Are they drinking lots of water? Are they getting exercise? Things like that. Really great for that. He also really likes to help us with changing our thoughts about ourselves changing our thoughts about our body, about our health, um, changing our thoughts that may be limiting beliefs that could be limiting our health uh, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. So he's a great angel to work with when you need to have the courage to change your life. He is also known as a travel angel. He can keep you safe when you're on a train or a plane or a bus, any type of public transportation, even in your car, you can call him in and help, you know, have him help to keep you safe. He's a great healer of animals, um, really, really fine angel. And he is said to have this beautiful emerald green light. And uh, it's really kind of his hallmark. And when I first started seeing him come in into healing sessions years ago, probably about 2002, 2003, um, I saw him coming in as a circle of emerald green light. And eventually I was able to see kind of an outline of him and then eventually saw his whole beingness, uh, if you will. And he's just lovely. And we will do a meditation today on the show to connect with him later on. But uh, first, let's go ahead and do a card. Let's pull a card for you guys. And I'm going to ask Archangel Raphael and uh, also Gabriel and Michael, Uriel and some others to bring us whatever message will be best for us to receive. So I'm going to pray over these cards. Oop, we got two of them flying out here. My goodness. So uh, the deck I'm using is the Keepers of the Light Oracle Card Deck. And it's a deck by Kyle Gray, who is a Scottish angel teacher, a very young angel teacher. So here we go. Great Spirit, Mother, Father, God, beautiful angels, archangels, ascended masters, spirit helpers, spirit teachers, spirit guides of the light, guardian angels, we call you all in into this place and time and we ask for your loving guidance for each of us listening into the show right now on spiritual awakenings either live or on rebroadcast angels what do each of us need to know about be aware of or do right now for our highest and best good and we call in Archangel Gabriel for clear messages And we call in Raphael and Michael, Ariel, Haniel, Jophiel, Gabriel, or excuse me, I called in Gabriel twice. And we call in Uriel. Yeah, we call in Master Jesus and the Buddha. We call in Archangel Jeremiah. And we are grateful. And so it is. Okay. Oh, this is a beautiful card. So uh, the card that the angels have given us today comes from an Ascended Master. And this deck, the Keepers of the Light Oracle Cards by Kyle Gray, has both angels and Ascended Masters in the deck. And it's very interesting to me right now because I am doing Angelic Reiki sessions and I'll be teaching Angelic Reiki in August And um, that work not only involves working with angels, but working with ascended masters. So I'm just really kind of psyched about learning more about them. So our card today comes from 
Ascended Master Krishna. Krishna. And this me- is a message about devotion. And the, the angels and the ascended beings of the light want you to know that you can trust the spiritual guidance that you are receiving, that the divine is recognizing your commitment, and that you are loved unconditionally. So I'll tell you more about that card when we get back. I'm Marcia Hebrain. This is Spiritual Awakenings live on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Be right back. Author, radio show host, and coach John M. Hawkins reveals strategies to help gain perspective, build confidence, find clarity, achieve goals. John M. Hawkins' new book, Coached to Greatness, unlock your full potential with limitless growth. Published by iUniverse, Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them, rediscover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins, My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Tune into It's All About You with host Dr. Martha Latz, a lively weekly broadcast on BBM Global Network, one of the most empowering shows for time-starved, overscheduled multitaskers. The professional expertise of Dr. Latz is directly available live every Thursday at 1 p.m. to answer and address concerns about relationships, life transitions of career, meeting, dating, and committed relationships. It's All About You with Dr. Latz will expand your understanding of current and concerns across your relationships by broadening and expanding possible solutions in developing skills for mutually desired outcomes. Dr. Martha's expertise is as a licensed marriage and family therapist, life, transition coach, and all things to do with communication at work, home, and with friends. Check out her website at auniquetherapycenter.com. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Marcia Hebrink, and this is Spiritual Awakenings. And we're coming to you live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And we're so glad you're here. I just realized that my cat is snoring. <laughs> She's over on the couch, like on the futon next to me, like on the other side of me. And I heard this noise and I thought, what in the world is that? And she is snoring over here to beat the band. So if you hear snoring, it's not me. It's my cat, Kiki. She's a Siamese girl. She's very quirky and very cute. So back to our card for today, for this week. This card is come, is from Krishna, who is an ascended master. And again, this is from the Keepers of the Light Oracle Card Deck by Kyle Gray. And the message here uh, for us from Krishna is to trust our spiritual guidance and that the divine is recognizing that we are very committed to the spiritual path and that we are unconditionally loved and supported. So I wanted to just uh, tell you a little bit more about this. Krishna is a being who embodies divine wisdom. And uh, this is a very loving and supportive guide that you can work with if you choose. He's a very peaceful being, has a great love for animals and people, and he is said to honor the divine feminine. And one of the things that he's associated with is the need to choose love over fear so that we can move out of any perceived limitations that we may have, any wars that may be existing in our ego or in our mind, and into the space of love and possibility. So a little bit more about this particular message from Krishna for us today. Uh, Krishna tells us we have a deep spiritual connection and we need to trust the guidance that's coming through to us from source. Our devotion to our spiritual path has been recognized by the divine. And (laughs) this kind of goes along with what I was saying. Oh, my golly. Um, It may feel as if you have been on a mental or emotional battlefield. 
but know that there are sweet messages of hope all around you right now. Just close your eyes and listen. This being, Krishna, is here to boost your sense of connection to the divine and to encourage you to act from your soul. If there's some kind of decision you need to be making, Krishna asks you to really honor what you and your soul and those around you will benefit from the most. And Krishna says, if you choose the best for all involved, then you will feel even closer to the divine. Isn't that beautiful? So here we are again dealing with all this change and all this kind of chaotic stuff going on in the world. Uh, Know that not only are there angels who are here to help us, there are ascended masters to help us as well. Maybe I might need to do an ascended masters series on the show. There's so much to learn about them. Uh, And the difference between an angel and ascended master um, is, and this is one thing that uh, Charles Virtue talked about in some of the training that uh, my husband and I did with him, but ascended masters are beings who walked the earth. Uh, Some of them, it said, have had many incarnations on the earth, and then eventually they ascended, they went to the light, and they became an ascended master who were able to connect with in order to receive help here on the earth plane. Now, there are two angels who did that too, uh, at least two, maybe more, but Sandalphon and Metatron were also on the earth and had multiple incarnations on the earth plane before they became archangels. So... Back to our topic for the day, back to our angel of the day, Archangel Raphael, and how he can help us with changing our thoughts, with coping with change, with coping with all the reality of being here on the planet, Uh, all the The stress, too. Golly, isn't there a lot of stress out there? And uh, I know a lot of you are working really, really hard. There are a lot of people that I see and talk to. I do phone sessions uh, with the angels, people who call me who are working multiple jobs and just, you know, so many hours and not really having much time for themselves at all. And so whatever snippets of time they get, you know, they might be driving in the car and that's their peaceful time. Um, Raphael really wants me to send you a message today that no matter how hard you have to work to make it happen, you've got to carve out some time for yourself to be in the silence to be in a beautiful place in nature, to be somewhere where you can let your hair down, where you can relax, where you can let your body be at ease, where you can let your mind be at ease. And I know that's hard if you're working two and three jobs. I know it is. Um, One of the things that helps me and has helped me for a long time is music. Um, And Raphael says music is very, very healing. And uh, back, I used to work for hospice. I did that for a long time, several years. And one of the things I did, because I would have to drive a lot of miles to go and be with the patients and their families uh, in, golly, several counties actually around. So I was in my car a lot. Thank goodness I had a Prius. And so I got good mileage and I wasn't contributing to the the problems of having to buy a lot of gas uh, for my car. But I would turn on the most peaceful music you could ever imagine. And I would be driving and, you know, people would be calling me. I I did my best to keep my phone turned off uh, while I was driving. And I would just have that music on. It might be spa music. It could be, you know, a Native American flute, something like that. And I would just remind myself to breathe, remind myself to Return to the breath, return to the peace. And Raphael says, breath is a very integral part of our wellness, our overall wellness. And we, when we are in a state of being very hurried, being under stress and things like that, 
allowing yourself to use that gift of the breath and use that gift of peaceful music or peaceful places like nature can really do a lot to heal you, to bring you back to your center, to bring you back to a place where you can really feel who you are. And that's important to make time for that. So we're going to take a little break. When we get back, we are going to do a meditation with Raphael. I'm Marcia Hebrink, and this is Spiritual Awakenings. We're coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. And we'll be right back. Dr. R.C. will share extraordinary resources and services that promote educational success as well as making a difference in the lives of all social workers as well as the lives of children, adolescents, and teens of today. She will have open discussions addressing many of the issues that we face about our youth and how being employed in the uniquely skilled profession of social work for over 18 years has taught invaluable lessons through her personal experiences. She will also provide real-life facts, examples, and personal stories that will confirm that why serving as a child advocate is extremely beneficial when addressing the needs of the whole child. Listen live Saturdays, 10 a.m. Eastern on the BBM Global Network and tune in radio as Dr. R.C. will provide thought-provoking information that will empower, encourage, and strengthen students, families, and communities across our nation. You can also visit her at soarwithkatie.com. Psychologist, master certified coach, and CEO of the executive and organizational development firm True North Leadership, Dr. Relly Nadler brings his expertise in emotional intelligence to keynotes, consulting, coaching, and training. He is the author of Leader's Playbook and Leading with Emotional Intelligence that lays out tips and tools for effective leadership. Dr. Nadler has designed multi day executive boot camps for high achievers in Fortune 500 companies and has coached CEOs, presidents, and their staff and developed and delivered innovative leadership programs for such organizations as Anheuser-Busch, BMW, MCI, EDS, DreamWorks Animation, the U.S. Navy, and Vanguard Health Systems. To learn more and get your free iPhone app highlighting his tools with videos, leadership keys, visit www.truenorthleadership.com today. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Marcia Hebrink, and you're listening to Spiritual Awakenings. And we're coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. And today we're talking about angels and crystals and stones and spiritual healing and kind of dealing with all the stuff that's going on out there, dealing with change, having the courage to change. And our angel today is Archangel Raphael, the healing angel. Now, the stone that is most closely associated with Archangel Raphael is the emerald. And he does have that emerald green healing light that is associated with him as well. And the emerald is considered to be a stone of the heart. It uh, really aligns beautifully with the heart chakra. It's a great stone for working with in your meditation. It deepens your spiritual connections and your consciousness. And it's great for working with dreams. Really awesome healing stone in all kinds of ways. And I have a pretty one right here. I also wanted to tell you briefly about a couple of really cute stones that I have in front of me. I was out in Asheville, North Carolina, Hendersonville, actually, between Hendersonville and Asheville at a place called uh, Crystal Visions. And I bought these two stones, and I'm just in love with them. Uh, they are Angel Aura Quartz. Angel Aura Quartz. Now, they are treated, so they're not just regular quartz. They are a bonded quartz that has platinum and silver placed around it and so they have this and then they're irradiated a little bit and they have this silvery iridescent like quality like angel wings okay do you like them already um, and so I bought one that is rose quartz and it is an angel aura quartz rose quartz and it is gorgeous and I bought another one for my friend Lori I hope she's listening to the show right now sometimes she does and I also bought one that is a clear quartz angel aura quartz and wow the rainbows that come out of this are just gorgeous this is a, a, again another stone 
that will help you with meditation. It'll help you with getting into a state of serenity and peace. It's helpful with purification. It can help you to connect with the angels. Okay, you can see why I like it. It has a, an energy of love, a stimulating spirit. It elevates your mood. It helps you to attune to your spiritual purpose. And you can use it at your throat chakra for loving communications in romance. So here we are on the heels of Valentine's Day. This is also a great stone, angel or a quartz, for anxiety, panic attacks, and phobias. And I've had like two people in the last couple of weeks dealing with panic attacks. Um, you can combine this if you're someone who does Reiki healing and things like that, reflexology, really, really, really great stones. I'm, I'm very excited about them. So I will put a picture of them. I promise. I know I'm not always the best about this. I'll put a picture of these stones and this card uh, for this week, the Krishna card, on my Facebook business page, uh, www.facebook.com forward slash messages from moon. So look for it out there. I promise I will get it on there for you this time. I get so busy. So let's do a meditation and let's call in this beautiful angel, Archangel Raphael, to help us out. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Let's close our eyes and take a long, slow, deep, easy breath in, breathing in love and light. And on the out breath, breathe out any stress, any tension. Send it right on out, releasing that stress and tension to the angels. And on your in-breath, breathe in peace and serenity. And on your out-breath, breathe out anything you need to let go of. And see yourself now walking forward on a beautiful emerald green pathway of light. See yourself coming around a little curve, a little bend in the road, coming up a hill and out into a clearing. Nothing but beautiful green grass, sunshine, plants, and trees. See yourself coming to the center of this space. And as you come to the very center, call to you now, Archangel Raphael. Archangel Raphael, come down. Bless and grace each one of us listening in to the show right now on Spiritual Awakenings with your presence. And we are so grateful. And allow yourself now to take the hands of Archangel Raphael in your hands. Feel his warmth. Feel his love. Feel his compassion. And if there is an issue that you're dealing with right now, something you need to change in your life, something that's been hard for you that you know it's time to let go of, Call upon Archangel Raphael now to help you with that. Send him from your mind and your heart to his mind and his heart, a representation, an image of whatever that is that you're ready to release. And trust that he will help you to handle that, help you to find the solutions to that. And now allow yourself to open to receiving green healing light from Archangel Raphael's eyes into your heart center and from Archangel Raphael's heart and from Archangel Raphael's hands which he now places on your heart center and just drink in that emerald green healing light bringing it into every cell of your body, into the organs of your body, into all the tissues, the bones. Bring that healing energy into your thoughts, into your mind, into your emotions, helping you to handle whatever's going on, helping you to heal from the past. And breathe that green healing light and love all the way out into your entire auric field until you are surrounded with healing, love, and light. 
and just feel it and know that you deserve this healing. And now just give Archangel Raphael a little bow or give him a little hug if you wish and thank him for this work and see yourself now turning slowly and gently back coming down that green pathway of light, coming slowly back into the place and time where your body is, all the way into the room where you are, all the way into this place and time, more healed and more whole and more peaceful. And we're going to take a quick little break. I'm Marcia Hebrank, and you're listening to Spiritual Awakenings, coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And we'll be right back. The earliest human societies worshipped a female goddess. Little is known about this time because we did not always have a written recorded history. It was around 3100 BC when the Sumerians invented the first written language and everything that preceded this time is prehistory. The prehistorical record includes all of women's unwritten history from 30,000 BC to the time that men began achieving political power around 3000 BC. Male feminist artist Kimberly Berg maintains a strong position in educating and inspiring both men and women through his devotional art to the goddess in all women. Studying their history is paramount to understanding who women were and who they would become later living in a patriarchal society. To learn more about this important time in our history, go to www.isisrising.net. Are you looking for employment and live in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is the place for you. Are you an employer looking to fill a position or quite a few positions in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is for you. Employers, JobsAnnex.com is your resource for career-minded people. JobsAnnex.com is the convenient place for job seekers and employers to hook up and move forward. Jobs Annex has been serving Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties for over 14 years. Jobs Annex is a former employment search firm. We've evaluated many thousands of resumes and we understand what employers want and what job applicants need to be successful in their interviews. At Jobs Annex, we provide you with the tools to tell your story for free. Our resources at JobsAnnex.com will help each applicant construct an award-winning resume, an eye-catching cover letter, and key interview questions to ask in various types of interviews. Best of all, it's free. JobsAnnex.com. That's J-O-B-S-A-N-N-E-X.com. Horses, mystical, present, past, and future, all in one. Wild, free, domestic, and healing for everyone. Betty Hames knows this and has put her horses to good use with Nature Connect Equine Coaching. Her mission is to help people affected by the loss of hope and trust in their lives and to rediscover the wonders of nature through nature-connected learning so they can rebuild their lives and live peacefully with newfound hope, trust, and joy. Betty Hames is also a certified elite life coach, a Washington State certified counselor, and chemical dependency professional. She is passionate about partnering nature with healing, and through horses, she sees amazing results and transformation in lives that might have otherwise been lost. Call 509-830-9225 and visit her at HamesLifeCoaching.com. Hold your horses. You're in for the ride of your life. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Marcia Hebrank, and this is Spiritual Awakenings, coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. And today we're talking about angels and stones and crystals and spiritual healing. And Archangel Raphael is right here. I just have chill bumps all over. I still see him. I still feel his presence. And I'm just going to share with you what he has to say uh, at the close of the show here. Beautiful ones, know that each of you possesses within you a spark of pure divinity, pure love, pure light that comes to you from source comes to you from your true home in heaven. Each day that you spend on the planet is a gift. 
Allow yourself to find the joy in every moment. Despite the distractions, despite the challenges, know that your purpose on the earth is precious. Know that your purpose on the earth is love. The angels are here to support you in remembering the truth of your purpose. And as you remember that purpose of love, love your body, love your mind, love your spirit, love your soul. For in fact, you are created of pure godliness. Allow yourself to appreciate the beautiful gift of light that is present within you. That gift of light that waits to be expressed through your words, through your professions, through your hopes, through your dreams, through your relationships. Have faith, be of good faith and know you are beautiful and your purpose is important. Sending you much love, compassion, peace and support Archangel Raphael. And so it is. So, well, my goodness, I appreciate you guys a whole lot. And I hope you have a great week. And uh, just sending you lots and lots and lots of love. Om Namaste. Many, many blessings. You've been listening to Spiritual Awakenings with your host, Marsha Hebrank. Join us each week as we discover and explore how angels, spirit guides, and spirit teachers through their guidance can nurture, heal, and balance our lives on Marsha Hebrank's Spiritual Awakenings. been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.